All right, hey guys, this is Michael Lab Solutions. Um, we're setting up our lab. So we uh, did all the plumbing and water for the sink and for the kettle and also for the steamer. So here I'm doing a test run right now. I've got the steamer going and then we're going to uh, see how quick it heats up the kettle. Um, here we go. Seems like it takes a little while for this thing to get going. It's probably been um, about 10-15 minutes or so now and so nothing's getting real hot we flushed it out really good we got our sink here we put a hose up here so we can kind of move it around um, we have water hooked up to that but I need another fitting to get it going so I got it capped off right now and then uh, all the drains are gonna go into 55 gallon drums outside we have one for this which is for hot water for the kettle and then we have another 55 gallon drum for the sink and those are going to be our um, gray water system. So our garden is right out here from the shed and so we're going to just um, gravity feed all the extra water to the garden. So it'll be super nutrient rich from all the washings from the grain. Um, my microscope is kind of messed up and need to get a new microscope but uh, we're going to hang this thing here, this cabinet and we're going to keep all our uh, basic alcohol and stuff in there. There's our uh, uh, impulse sealer. Then I think we're going to put in this corner a big uh, stainless steel table and put the dehydrator underneath that. And then we're going to put, that's going to be our grain setup to uh, bag our grains. And then in this space right here, next to the kettle, I'm uh, making a kind of a dryer for the grains. Kind of a tumbler or something, maybe a cement mixer. Uh, chicken plucker, something that can turn a barrel. And I'm going to make a stainless steel cage that the rye berries will go into um, that will, you know, turn around and all the steam will get off of them. Uh, tomorrow we're going to set up the bench for the um, laminar flow hood here. Um, hopefully next week or the week after um, our new uh, filter will be coming. It was quite expensive. It was like uh, 500 bucks and that was like super cheaper than anyone else uh, distributors I called for it. So then we'll have our fridge. Um, yeah, over next to the flow hood we'll have, um, hopefully the, I wanna put the cabinet up there and then I'll put the autoclave under the cabinet. So we go grain boil, grain dry, grain bag, cart it over, into the autoclave. We still have to run 220 from the sh shed, the pump house, it's not too far. And then boom, once it comes out of the autoclave, it goes onto the laminar fluid.